Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Jora. Happy birthday to me and many more. Hi. Hi, YouTube family. It's me, Jara B. And continuing on with my birthday month of July, this video is just going to be a haul video. So I did some shopping at Zappos, some shoe shopping, and then I did some beauty drugstore shopping at Meijer. So, if you want to see what I hauled, keep watching. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is my birthday month, July. Season of the cancer right now. July 3rd. That was my big day. And I'm going to celebrate all month long. So, let me share with you guys first, and I'm going to try to go as quickly as I possibly can, what I bought from Meijer. Meijer is like a, um, a drugstore that we have, like a super drugstore that we have here in the Midwest, United States. And it's similar to Walmart, but better. So anyway, I bought me a pair of pants right here, just a basic pair of black pants for the office. They're wide leg pants, so size extra large. That's me, I'm fluffy. There's that. And then I bought these little tree air fresheners right here. This is in the scent cotton candy, and Meyer is the only place that I can find the cotton candy scent, which is my favorite. Then I bought me some organic cotton rounds. So I have a plethora of things in here, you guys. So then I bought my favorite toothpaste, which is Sensodyne. I cannot use anything other than Sensodyne toothpaste because as we age, you guys, your my gums have receded a little bit. That's what my dentist tells me. And that's why I experience sensitivity when I brush my teeth if I don't use like a really good um, sensitive type toothpaste then I bought <laughs> this L'Oreal collagen moisture um, filler face cream it looked like that love this stuff I like collagen my skin likes it keeps everything plump trying to keep everything as youthful as I possibly can. I'm 55, by the way. Yes. Yes. I'm saying it out loud, and I'm proud. 5'5", five, five, y'all. Where's that? Then I bought some Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. This is a staple for me. Then I purchased one of these Vaseline all over body balm um, sticks. It looked like this. I've seen this advertised all over Instagram, all over the place. I saw it in O magazine, Oprah's magazine. So I wanted to try it to so twist up like that. So, yep, I like it. I think I'm going to like it. I just got it. So it's kind of new to me. Then I bought. A three pack of dial soap my favorite soap in the summertime especially if I've been out and about in public and I've been sweating a lot so this cleanse is real good then I bought me a lip smacker strawberry lip balm Fanta look like this it was on sale I didn't need it. The only reason why I bought it because it was 50% off. What was that? Then I purchased 
uh, let's steer away a little bit from the beauty items. I bought one, two, three fragranced wax melts. This one is Old Fashioned Vanilla, which is a staple for me in my um, house. I love the smell of vanilla, ice cream, sweet stuff. So here's that one. Then I bought two from Yankee Candle. They were on sale. That's the only reason why I bought these because I find that Yankee Cand Candle wax melts are expensive. This is Pink Cherry and Vanilla. It like that. It smells so good. And then I bought, only bought this one because it was on sale as well. It was like half off or something. So I think I paid like, I don't know, $273, something like that for it. This is in the scent floral candy y'all see that and surprisingly it smells very good y'all even though i'm not really a floral i don't like a lot of floral scented things but because this has candy in it it's like a soft floral candy mm, it smells so good i can't wait to melt that okay back to bath and body i bought a bottle of Biofreeze. It's like Bengay because these old bones, muscles, and ligaments sometimes they they hurt. And I use this, and I really like this. The thing about it that I like most about this is that this one comes in a rollerball form. They have spray and they have like ointment. I prefer the rollerball because it's like a massaging action to me when I'm applying it to my neck, my back, my leg, wherever. So, bio freeze, love it. Then I purchased two things of deodorant. I collect deodorant. I'm always trying new deodorant, especially spray deodorants, okay? So this one is by Dove. This is passion fruit and lemongrass. It looks like this. And I did spray it in the air and I like the way it smells. So we'll see, we'll see it's new by Dove. So, yep. And then this one is from Secret. This is the weightless dry spray refreshing berry and argon oil it looked like this i sprayed it in the air and i like the way it's it smells so yeah i'm always trying new deodorants you guys so the only thing about this one i don't think yeah the only thing about this one sometimes it's kind of like hard to spray under my arm if I'm spraying, if I'm spraying my right underarm with my left hand like that, sometimes it can be hard to press down on this little pump thing right here and get the product to come out. So what I do sometimes is I'll hold it in my right hand because I'm right-handed and my right hand is stronger than my left hand, and I'll do I'll spray it like that. Make sure I don't get it all up in my face, though, because that has happened to me before. Womp, womp, womp. All right. So there's that. And then I purchased... This is also a staple for me. This is the OGX Smoothing Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. Love this stuff. It smells like vanilla and a slight, not really coffee scent. Well... A little bit of coffee I squirted some of it out y'all I didn't mean to but anyway this is probably like my fourth bottle of this stuff I love it I will use this all year long I love the smell of it especially in the I use it in the morning or in the evenings whenever I'm in the mood to use it I just love it it's so sweet and yummy vanilla -y and slightly coffee scented love it and then last but not least from Meyer is the OGX Coconut Coffee Body Cream. This, y'all, the body cream is so hard to find. I only see this every now and again. I've only ever purchased it, seen it at Meyer, 
and I've seen it at um, Target. I remember seeing it at Target maybe a couple of years ago. Um, this will be my third bottle of this body cream that I've ever purchased. So, love it! Alright guys, so if you're interested in my Zappos shoe haul, keep watching! Okay you guys, this shoe right here looks like this because I've been trying to find me a black sneaker and here it is okay this is the Reebok lifestyle workout plus shoe okay then when I was looking at the box I saw that it said that this is a men's shoe when I was uh, looking on Zappos I thought that this was a women's I thought I ordered the women's but this is what it looked like okay so I'm a bit confused as to what made me order a men's shoe but um, yeah I'll let you guys know in the future whether or not I decide to keep these I do like the way they look for a black sneaker I generally do not this is actually my first pair of black sneakers okay all the black sneakers that I look at look to me like work shoes like what people who work in restaurants in the kitchen would wear but I just wanted a pair of black sneakers to wear with my um, black pants I wear a lot of black pants at work okay I, I don't know y'all um, I did try these on and they fit just fine but for some reason I don't know why they say men's I don't I don't know what I was doing just shopping y'all just shopping but this is what they look like all right so there's that I don't know what I was doing but anyway we'll see if I keep those okay now these right here are all white and they look like this okay this is the Reebok lifestyle classic leather trainer it look like this now I knew that this was um, what they call a unisex shoe so yeah and I had tried this sneaker on in the women's section at a different shoe store in my size which is a size 9 women's I wear a size 9 and then my toe was I guess my foot was too long for the size 9 women so when I went to Zappos and I saw unisex and I ordered this in a um, size of nine and a half women and in men's this is the size eight so I knew that this shoe was a unisex shoe right here so yeah that's what I ordered so I know I'm gonna keep these I did try these on and they fit okay they're a little wide right here at the heel section because I have very skinny ankles you guys I have small wrists and skinny ankles my wrists and my ankles do not look like they belong on a person my size and I am a plus size woman okay but I have a thin woman's ankles and wrist <laughs> so anyway yep so that is all for this haul all right you guys if you stuck around to the end of this video I highly appreciate that you are a true supporter thank you bye